Capricorn, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for the sign of Capricorn. It is not going to resonate with all of you out there. This is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. Any Capricorn placement that you may resonate with. Some of the messages may also resonate with you. Personal reading information, any jewelry seen, will be linked and listed in the description box. At the end, we will pull some oracles, give you a little bit more guidance for the week. Otherwise, Capricorn, we are jumping right in. I do only take jumpers, so I appreciate your patience in advance. Your first cards out this week is the Six of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands, and the Five of Cups. Got a little bit of everything here. Pentacles, Wands, Cups. I do see there might be a situation in the past here that you could have definitely turned your back on. Six of Cups is all about generosity, giving of time, trying to balance the giving of time. Energy could also be resources for some of you. What else do we have for Capricorn? Please, let's get the full story. But some sort of new beginning here, some sort of new um, excitement. I do get for some of you something new has piqued your interest, maybe with work, a new industry. We have the Chariot, Major Arcana for Cancer Energy, the Wheel of Fortune, Major Arcana, and Emperor Aries energy could be important to you. Definitely have moved on from something here with this chariot card in your past position. And there's absolutely something new that you are probably leaning towards. Um, I do see, though, not everybody's going to be happy about your decision to sort of go off and do something new. However, this is going to play out for you. Work, relationship, family, friends, bottom of the deck is the seven of swords. Oh, man, Capricorn. Are we sneaking away? Are we sneaking off? This could be you or someone else that you're connected to. You know your story. Put yourself where you fit. If it's not your story, leave it alone. Six of Pentacles and the Chariot card in your past position, I do see here. Um, also could have been you've been giving to multiple things. Some of you might have had multiple jobs, maybe a main job, a side hustle. But this is like making the decision to move on from one of them. Leave kind of one behind because you are going from giving to two to one here. Okay? So this could be people. This could be friend circles. Whatever it is for you. There is a sense of trying to make everybody happy here with the Six of Pentacles. And this is kind of leaving that kind of uh, approach behind. Maybe you didn't really know what you wanted. So you were kind of just dibble and dabbling. But it's now it's like you know exactly what you want. And you're going to go for it here with this Ace of Pentacles. Because now is the time with the with the, uh, the Wheel of Fortune here. Also a 10 card signifying some sort of ending. But whatever it is you're moving to. Some of you it's definitely a higher position in another company. Or a new job that's even could be entrepreneurship. With that Aries energy in your future energy. Um, it's absolutely you're destined to make this move. This was always how it was meant to play out. Even though some people aren't going to be happy about it. I'm also getting the Five of Cups as an energy. This is something that you don't want to regret not taking a chance on. Because the Five of Cups is all about that should have, would have, could have energy for me. So this is like, I don't want to regret not making this decision. I don't want to regret not taking this opportunity. I don't want to regret not following my um, excitement. Okay. So with the Seven of Pentacles here, I mean the Seven of Swords, Seven of Wands, and the Page of Swords, Air Sign Energy, Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius could be important to you. Some of you um, have kind of been observing, waiting for the right time to sort of make this move. I do get you have not been telling someone or people about this. You've been very protective over this move, over this new direction, over this new path. Very protective of it. Very secretive too with the Seven of Swords. Very secretive strategic energy so if you have been working multiple jobs you definitely didn't tell the other job that you had another job okay obviously this could be in relationships too whatever kind of relationships but um yeah you've been very protective of this move it's almost like you didn't want to talk about it before it happened and you didn't quite know what you were doing yet so you didn't want to make any announcements before knowing what you wanted to do or the direction that you wanted to go in but this is like you know where you want to go and now is the time to sort of execute this 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 plan of yours Seven of Wands, very protective energy. This is kind of like, yeah, people aren't going to be happy, but who cares? Right? Who cares? You got to do what is best for you. Um, you also have the Eight of Wands here. So there's definitely conversations that will need to happen once this decision is made to go in this new direction. Conversations will definitely need to happen. The secrecy, the strate this strategy will need to come to an end. And it's like, you're ready. You're ready. For, you know, once you, once you have this conversation, I sort of tell this truth, whatever sort of backlash or whatever sort of you know, uh, poor receptiveness you're going to receive, you're ready for it. You're willing to fight for this new beginning. You know, whatever anyone's got to say, you got an answer ready. Because you've had time. You've kind of got your plan together and now you're executing. So you've, you've already prepared yourself for what um, this is going to take for you to sort of get there. 
And with this emperor energy, this is saying, yeah, I don't care. <laughs> I just don't care. I'm going to do what I need to do. I need, I'm going to do what is right. And who doesn't like it, doesn't like it. It's funny because the emperor drives the chariot. So this is very much you getting on your path here in some way, shape or form, whether it's towards pentacles, whether it's to more something more exciting. I am. I'm, I'm not really getting a relationship so much romantic, at least. I'm not seeing enough cups here. This is either something with your time and energy. Maybe you've been giving time and energy to a particular group of people. And now you kind of got to take it back in order to sort of fund this new thing with energy. But there's absolutely people around you that are not going to be happy with the fact that you're sort of switching your priorities around. That's very much the vibe I'm getting. You're switching your priorities around. There's something new that you want to give more time, energy, and effort to. And it's going to require you to take energy from someone else. It's like now that you finally know what you want, you're going to go for it. You're not going to allow anybody sort of talk or opinions to, to, to steer you in another direction. You know exactly where you want to go and you're going to do what it takes to get there. Three of Wands, expectations. Some of you, uh, you have people online watching you sort of waiting. I, I do get maybe there are people around you that kind of have an idea that you are planning something. They don't know what yet. And that could be why they're observing or watching you maybe extra closely. But I do also think this is you watching and waiting for the right time. Kind of reading the room. When is the time to do this? Because this is also a waiting card with the three of wands. So there are definitely people that are waiting. It's only a matter of time. Like they know something's about to come. They just don't know what yet. Doesn't look like they're going to be too happy about it with the five of cups. But, you know, oh, well. Yeah, you've had obligations. Some of you have children. That has probably could be a hindrance as well. Especially if you co-parent with somebody. They might look at you as uh, selfish for taking some sort of new opportunity in order to better yourself. But you have been living under obligation for a while. Feel like you don't have a choice with that devil card. That's all about obligations, all about um, binding, being bound to things that we think we don't have control of being unbound from. Yeah, this this begs the difference, but this is the end to that. The Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords underneath that. An end to sort of that uh, obligatory energy. On to new thing. On to new new things lots of new energy here lots of pages ace of ace of wands let's see what the oracle's got to say this is a romantic situation although i don't think it is what is the guidance for capricorn please guidance for capricorn also could be moving on from someone if this is romantic this could be moving on from someone that has been sort of giving to multiple things they have not been prioritizing you now you're making yourself the priority they're not going to like it oh well religious factors your love life is being influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path, separation, time apart from your partners on the horizon. Yeah, so very uh, good signs of a breakup, possibly, if this is a romantic situation. Honeymoon, enjoy your bliss of holiday time together. There's definitely some sort of traveling or distance that's going to be happening here, separation and honeymoon. And a lot of you are leaving an old connection for a new connection. But the old connection is one that didn't really give you much time and energy. This person was, you were not a priority to this person. You, you were a priority, you just weren't number one, two, three, or four. Might have been five or six, but who wants to be that low? Because, you know, six of pentacles. Who wants to be that low on someone's priority list? So you've created new priorities for yourself, which doesn't include the situation. Religious factors. Could literally be a religious thing, but a lot of the time this religious factors comes to me as a card. Because um, I I view uh, self, the way you see yourself as a religion, right? But religion to me is anything you subscribe to that you can't use your five senses to measure. So the way you perceive yourself and the belief you have on yourself is also a religion. Because it's a thought that you continuously believe in, right? This is changing whatever sort of belief, system, uh, metric, vision of yourself that you had. And you're realizing, no, I'm, this, I'm above this. Yeah, I deserve to be a priority in someone's life, at least top three. I'm not asking to be number one all the time because, you know, we're grown. We got things going on, work, kids, house, all that kind of stuff, bills. But at least top three. Six, seven? No, I'll pass. Thank you. Next. Guidance, please, for Capricorn. And this is destined. The, the, the divine supports this. If you are currently in a connection with someone where you are not a priority, not to say, you know, if you're not top three, this is absolutely supported. The divine says, yeah, go ahead. Find where you are celebrated. Because where you are right now, you're celebrated, but like, like you know, every other Thursday. <laughs> or or every month on a Thursday. one Once a month on a Thursday. And if this is a true connection, it should feel a lot more, you know, it should be a lot more. See? No. Wait, postpone, pause, say no. 
very much the vibe I'm getting. Inner temple, devotion, tune into the portal of your heart. This is being self-devoted. This is looking within oneself and saying, nah, I'll pass. I'm not that desperate. I'm not that desperate. This is not, it's not giving what it's supposed to give. Whoever it is that you're dealing with, they got a way too much going on. So it's like, well, you know, I'll just take myself off your plate. No pun intended. <laughs> no pun intended. You're definitely taking yourself out of someone's priority list. So they don't even have to think about you no more. Definitely could cause some issues for this person, have some regret, but who cares? It's like, why do you always got to wait till I'm not interested in emotionally to care, to be interested? I saw a post like that, actually. And this could go either way, but it said... Women fall, in, women fall in love too soon, or women care too soon, and men care too late. Now, whichever role you play, you might be a, a masculine with feminine energy, but that's kind of the vibe, right? One person cares too soon, and one person cares too late. It's never like we care equally at the same time, we're putting equal effort. One person's always going to put more, and then once that person gives up and gets tired, that's when the other person starts to care, right? It's time to release negative negativity. Full moon Scorpio could be dealing with a Scorpio or Scorpio season could be an important time frame, but definitely something is registering as negative energy in your life and you're realizing it needs to be released. And the end of a tough cycle approaches. Full moon in Capricorn, there you are. This is like making hard decisions. Making hard decisions. I think you were kind of observing someone for a while or a situation. Observing, you know, getting all the facts before you make any decision. But I think here you've gotten all the facts and you're ready to make your decision. And a lot of you, you're deciding to let this thing completely go or to bump it down on priority. It's no longer going to be top three for you because you're not top three for them. You're not top three for them. They got a million other things going on. And when they get to you, they get to you. And we're not, we're not doing that anymore. We're not doing when I get to you, I'll get to you vibe. Mouse spirit tend to the small things. Yeah, this is this is nipping things in the bud before they build up into bigger problems. That's exactly what the mouse spirit is about. Number four signifies that you are divinely protected. You're not going to suffer any penalty from leaving this connection or situation behind. But this is what you're doing. You're nipping it in the bud. You're not allowing it to grow into a whole infestation where you hate this person and despise them. You're taking control. And you're saying, well, you know what? I'm not getting what I need out of this situation. I've been observing it for a while. I didn't make any brash decisions. I've gathered enough info to decide that this is not for me. Thank you. I wish you the best. One card for Capricorn, please. I wish you the best. I guess. Two sevens here. Seven, seven could be synchronicity for you as well. Was there other any repeating? No. A ten. Which signifies endings, new beginnings. One card for Capricorn, please. But uh, you're not doing this anymore very much. You're moving on. You could have decided this by the end of Capricorn season, which wasn't that long ago. Your ending is still unwritten. It's never too late to create the life you love. Yeah, bingo. Yeah, this is no longer uh, projecting. You know, we like to stay in situations and make it look like it's a person's fault. Oh, if they would just be better. This is being realistic and saying, okay, this person, I've been with this person for this month. Some of you, six months. You know, could be dating someone for six months or, you know, six years for some of you. It's, I've given this person more than enough time to show me something different. And I have not seen it yet. I have not seen it yet. I have not seen what I needed to see in order to continue to invest in this. So I'm no longer choosing to invest in this. You've definitely waited. You've given time. You've given a fair shot. This could also be three strikes throughout. And you also have, don't water yourself down for anyone. They can take all of you or nothing at all. Very much the vibe. Very much the vibe. This is like... I demand to be top three priority. If I can't be top three priority in your life, or at least top five, I got to go. I'm not going to be number seven because you do have two sevens here. And there could be some deception too. Some lying going on because the seven of swords is famous for that, right? Capricorn, that is your reading. Hopefully it resonates for you. Thumbs me up. Don't forget to subscribe. See you guys next week.